Hi. Um, I need a little help actually. My friend just sent me a message. I'll read it to you. She says, um, I'm going to back out of today's plan. And I really don't know what this means. Could you tell me what it means to back out of something? To back out of the plan? Does she mean she's going to attend the party or not attend it? Do you also ask these kind of questions sometimes? Well, if you do, then you are at the right place because today, Sonia, that's me, I'm going to take you through some casual, everyday English phrases which will be very helpful for you in your day-to-day -day conversation. So let's get started. The very first one that I just discussed with you was to back out of something. To back out means to fail to keep a promise or to withdraw from something. So how will you use it in a situation? Just like the one I just explained, if you are going to plan a party, a surprise party for someone maybe, what you can do is you can tell your friends, make sure that you don't back out of the plan because I've really worked hard for this party and I want everyone to attend it. The next one here is to come across. What does it mean to come across? This means to find something accidentally. Okay, so mostly when you're looking for something, it's intentional, right? By intention, you look for something if you've lost something. However, if you mean to say that you come across, it means that you find something by chance or by, or by accident. So in a situation or maybe in a sentence, you could say something like, I'm going shopping tomorrow and if I come across a good shoe store, I'll definitely let you know. That means you're talking about finding something by chance or finding something accidentally. The next one that I have for you is to come down with. Now what do I mean to say when I say to come down with something? To come down means it's mostly used when you're talking about some kind of an illness. You know sometimes when uh, you already have these symptoms of cold or flu, you tend to get a headache, you feel a little itchy in your throat and you know that you're going to fall sick. It happens with us sometimes. So when you are in a situation like that and maybe you are at work, you know it's already uh, half day at work but you know that you can't really pull through the entire day. So you could go to your boss and you could say, well I think that I'm going to come down with a fever so can I just uh, go home right away instead of waiting till the end of day, okay? So to come down with is mostly used that you're going to become ill, to become sick or become ill. So it's a more casual way of saying, you know, I feel sick. Instead you can say, I think I'm going to come down with something, with a flu or a fever or a cold maybe. Now the next one is to get around. What do I mean when I say to get around something? Now this is an interesting one. This means to avoid or to evade something. Both the words mean the same thing. Imagine a situation, alright, maybe uh, there's a relative's wedding over the weekend and you know that you're going to meet these cousins of yours whom you don't really like, okay? I know we all have some relatives whom we don't really, we can't really relate too much. We don't like uh, some of them, okay? And if you want to avoid them or evade the situation of having to meet them at the wedding, that's when you can use this in the sentence. So maybe you can tell your friend that, hey, you know what, I'm going for this wedding over the weekend and I really want to be able to get around my cousins. Can you help me? Can you give me some kind of an excuse or a solution to avoid the wedding or to get around the wedding? Okay, that's how you can use it. To get around means to avoid a situation. The next phrase I have here is to 
hear of something. Now, to hear of means to learn about something. So it's a very casual way to say that you're going to learn about something. So for example, if uh, you know you've heard of some restaurants which are there in the southern part of town, you've just maybe heard from someone or you read about the restaurant somewhere, that's you, the way you can put it in a sentence. You could say something like, well, um, I want to go for dinner tonight and I've heard of some fabulous restaurant, restaurants in the southern part of town, so let's go there tonight. To hear of means to learn about something or some place. The next one I have for you is very casual. It's very commonly used. And this is something that you should definitely know of and use it in your conversation whenever possible. It's hang around. What does it mean to hang around? To hang around means to stay in a place without any specific purpose. All right, let me write that down for you. To stay in a place without a specific purpose. I know we all have these, um, you know, favorite places that we like to be at, uh, you know, for long times also sometime, without any reason at all. For example, I love the beach, okay, I love beaches. So I can just stay, you know, at a beach for a length of time without any specific reason. So if you are someone like that, you could say, well, um, I love going to the beach, okay, I can just hang around at the beach all day long, which means you can stay at a beach without any specific purpose. And the last one on the board that I have here is, to go over, okay? What does it mean to go over something? To go over simply means to review something. Okay, so review sounds more formal, all right? And to go over is a casual way of saying the same thing. So maybe you, you know, you're a, you're a businessman and there are some plans that uh, you've made, some kind of a proposal for your marketing. So when in a sentence you could say something like, well, I need to go over these marketing plans in order to ensure that they will be effective. So to go over something means to review. So these are the seven phrases that I have for you. All right, out of these seven, I'm sure you can use something like hang around or to come across, um, to hear of something. These are phrases that are very common and make sure that you use them in your everyday conversation whenever possible. This brings me to the end of the lesson. I hope that you enjoyed watching the video today. Please make sure that you practice, watch the videos and improve your conversation on a daily basis. I'll be back soon with something new to the new day. How do you describe something that's really, really tasty? Do you say very tasty or very, very tasty? But does it really convey your message? If you keep using the word very in order to convey your exact emotion or to convey your message, it's not really always going to help. Very is an intensifier. It's a word that you use to emphasize on something. But today with me, Sonia, you are going to learn how to drop very from your conversation where it's not required and use much better words in your English vocabulary. So let's have a look together. Hi, everyone. So what you see on the board is a very short list of British slang vocabulary. If you're planning to visit the UK or maybe you're just interested in finding out about British slang words, then keep watching this lesson with me, Michelle, because we are going to look at this very short list in a short period of time.